On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we are going advent crazy with the StickBot Merry Christmas Advent Calendar. Hey everyone, this is Dan, and thank you very much for watching today as we are going advent crazy at Squirrel Stampede, not just with the StickBot, but we have Sonic the Hedgehog, we have Among Us, we have Minecraft, we even have National Geographic Advent Calendar. Huh? That's weird. Don't forget to tease the huge holiday train track at Dan's house. It's going to be epic. So many doors to open with surprises, seasonal festive surprises inside. Very exciting. You'll want to stick around. Also a very special comic with Landry Squirrel and Tiny Chipmunk as they explore the candy cane invasion. What is that? So, so much in store this month as we explore Advent, the coming up, up, closerness of Christmas. So, let's begin with the stick bot. I think it's the most festive. It really is. So we'll begin there and see what we can find. So somehow we have to find our way inside this box. Where are the doors? Where are the doors? It's time for a StickBot Christmas countdown. Ramp up the excitement for Christmas Day by uncovering a creative holiday surprise behind each numbered door. You'll find 15 StickBot characters. Five in exclusive colors. That's what I'm looking for. Four sets of StickBot accessories and five exclusive collector items. Wait a second, wait a second, there's the doors. And look, this inner box of doors is actually wrapped around this outer box of packaging. Ooh. Merry Christmas, this box is just way too big. StickBot advent calendar, here we go. Merry Christmas, front with two StickBots ready. I think this may just may work this way and we can begin finally decorating up the table for Christmas 2022 or 2022. If you're watching it that year. Okay, 2035 too. What's behind door number one? We've got a red stick bot. He's either waving Merry Christmas to us or yelling at us to get the packaging off his hands. I think he's yelling to get the packaging off his hands. So StickBot's being around for several years now, it's hard to really say what's an exclusive color or not. This is a very bright cranberry red with a yellow undercord. Hey! Could be an exclusive. It's nice just to see a classic red StickBot. Good start to the calendar. Let's go on to number two. It appears on this calendar everything is in sequence. Sometimes they jump around. Now we're gonna go through door number two. It's a green StickBot who is also dealing with packaging on his cuffs. Let me help you out there. Oh, and this is actually a StickBot Juvenile. A green juvenile with a very bright orange cord. Come to think about it, I don't think I've ever opened a StickBot kid before. Weird. So that's a great holiday find and matches festively with red StickBot. And for door number three. This is surprising. I think it's a keychain. It is. It's a very nice high acrylic stick bot off the grid keychain. Very nice, like a print inside acrylic panels. Very shiny. Oh, I almost would never want to use it to scratch it, but I'm going to use it this year, totally. That is a super special find. What do you think is in door number four, Tiny? <laughs> that would be fun. Oh, it's a stick bot dog. A stickbot pets. What is this? A blue Boston Terrier, maybe? Pug? Bulldog? I don't think I've opened this one before, or if I have, it's been a while since seeing. Very cute, bright orange cord. Pretty good variety so far in the calendar. And now we go to box five. Another surprise, maybe. Accessories! Ho ho ho, nothing says Christmas like grenades, machine guns, and crossbows, of course. And then some accessory clips to hang on, and what is this piece? Uh, some sort of arm attachment, and very cool glasses. Good, got to have accessories. And our final top row pull is... A translucent green stick bot. Actually transparent fluorescent green with orange cord stick bot. I think I prefer any of the transparency stick bots over the solids. I just like the brightly coloredness of them, being able to see the cord inside, especially this fluorescent orange cord, and a very festive green stick bot. 
for the holidays. Okay, now we hit up the meat of the advent calendar, the central door, starting with number seven. A yellow stick bot. A festive yellow blue corded, light blue corded stick bot. I take back what I say about transparency. This one's really cool and solid. I like the solid yellow. Never collected a yellow solid before. Perhaps he will be the yellow star on top of a Christmas tree. Five stick bots so far in this calendar. Surprised they were able to stick so many bot inside. Okay, door number eight. It's a stick bot monkey! It's a stick bot monkey! Long time Squirrel Stampede fans know that we've had a stick bot monkeys up on top of our lights. Whoa, that is not a stick bot monkey! That's a stick bot Cerberus! How did it get up there? Oh, there's our stick bot monkey up on the other lamp. You can't be too careful with the other stick bot monkey. I have a feeling it had something to do with Cerberus on the other light. Well, hopefully these guys won't drop from the sky while we're doing the rest of this vid. So it is another holiday themed red stick bot monkey to match along with our red stick bot with a bright green yellow cord inside. So festive with these. And I love the stick bot monkey tail, a little spiral tail there on a ball joint. How very cute and festive match for this calendar. Well, we've seen stick bots, we've seen accessories, pets. We've got to see a dinosaur at some point. This is box nine, door number nine. I feel like we're seeing more accessories. Yes, more accessories. So again, Christmas is not Christmas without samurai swords, serrated knife blades, and futuristic caveman clubs. Also a deadly axe, and a few more cuff attachment pieces. Very nice. Okay, Cerberus, you can get close to this one. Number 10, the door number 10. A strange manila package. Something you would expect to get from a tax accountant. Very odd, what is in this strange package? Sent from far, I think it's a button. A stick bot, what the bot, what the bot button with upside down stick bot. Or should I say pin, a shirt pin. The surprises never end. Cerberus, I need you to step back so I can get some light onto the calendar. Door number 11. And I think we found our first dino. Gotta be a Dilophosaur, I believe. Oh, it's adorably cute. A stick bot dino Dilophosaurus with those frilly frills on the side of its neck, opening and closing jaws, moving arms on cord of green. Bright green is the theme today, it seems. And a tail on a ball joint. The stick bot dino in translucent red. Another perfect holiday theme to match the reds, the greens today, right? This one will take a bite out of any present. And we are nearing our halfway point with door number 12, and it is... Now we're talking holidays. A very festive red and green stick bot. It's hard to say what is exclusive or not with the stick bot, but I'm fairly certain that this holiday stick bot is super exclusive with this pack. This is an awesome holiday themed two color stick bot of translucent red on top, translucent green on the bottom with another bright green bungee cord inside and a nice solid snowy white head plate, almost like a snowman. This one is the reason for opening the StickBot advent calendar first in the advent craze as I needed some assistance in future calendars. What a cool bot of stick, very impressive. And he's waving to the crowd, waving to the crowd. Well, that is an impressive halfway point. Let's check out a comic. And here we have the Candy, the candy cane, cane Invasion. invasion. Part 1 featuring Landry and Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel. Landry says, what's wrong Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel? Tiny looks distraught. Landry, my candy cane told me it wanted to kill me. Whoa, that's not good. Ha ha ha, that is so silly. Candy canes are for eating, not killing, says Landry. But unbeknownst to Landry, <laughs> Candy cane attacks Landry. Get it off, get it off as Landry battles the candy cane. Be gone with you murderous, treacherous candy cane as Landry smashes it to pieces. Thank you, Uncle Landry. I was so scared, said Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel, as the candy cane lay defeated. But then, Landry and Tiny seize three more canes. What did you do to Roger? They said. 
to be continued. What will happen next time? Okay, now we are into door number 13. Is that bad luck for Christmas advent calendars? Not sure, what do we got? It's a strange, another highly classified government manila package, possibly with a hidden location to Atlantis, or maybe more accessories. Okay, so included we have some festive dinosaur eggs, a dinosaur hunting cap, a dinosaur head restraint, more clips for our cups, a paintbrush, for painting holiday cheer, I suppose, and a wicked range laser rifle. All very essential in Christmas preparations. And at door number 14. Oh, is it another keychain? It is, these are so nice. There's a little bit of an acrylic protector sheet on these too, you gotta peel these off first. It's kinda like when you get a new microwave and you have to peel off the peel sheet protector from the number pads. And one side always comes off super easy and the other side never removes. But I think I got them both finally. And then underneath the most shiniest of keychain. I gotta say these are some of my favorite parts of the advent calendar of stick off the grid stick bot, another great fancy looking keychain. This bot more decorated in Delta gear, whereas the first one more night gear. So those are very pleasant surprises. Okay, door number 15. Oh, very nice. Translucent blue and orange stick bot. Out of all of these, I would probably say non-exclusive. I think I've seen a translucent, transparent blue bot before with orange cord. Kind of similar to green over here. We've seen those around. Door number 16, and remember, you do not have to get this as an advent calendar to open every single day. This is a great gift for the holiday season. It's another stickbot dino. What kind of dino is this? It's not on the top of my head. Oh, not a Pachycephalosaurus. It doesn't have the domed head. It has the crest going towards the back. We saw a Hammond exclusive. Oh, there's another one now. A Parasaur, a Parasaurolophilosophus. One of the hardest dinosaurs to say. Oh, and look, it's Mountain Range Owen, and he's here to capture the Parasaur. And he's a little confused which Parasaur he was hunting for. I think he got the wrong one. You got the Stickbot one. Well, this Parasaur just dodged a bullet, I guess. We can continue on. Okay, getting closer, door number 17. Door number 17, we have another classified manila envelope. What? sort of documents inside. More accessories. So we have some meat on a bone, probably for the dinosaurs, and some awesome night vision goggles. Gotta have some of those. Now how do those fit? Uh, night vision goggle hat accessory. You gotta wear your hat while going night vision goggling. And some more cuffs. Green dinosaur bone, green knife, and a dinosaur fossil of a head, skull, of maybe a T-Rex or something, a T-Rex fossil. Gots to like those dress-up accessories. Door number 18. Another stickbot pooch. This one in translucent festive red, kind of your more classic dog, if you will. Green bungee cord. We're gonna need to see a translucent green cat now, I think. Oop. That guy really likes dogs. We're gonna need to see a translucent green cat. I think that would be a really cool holiday themed cat and dog, but we will see there's only one row left. And we have a lot of commotion going on over here. There has been a lot of surprises so far in the advent calendar. Okay, so 19, door number 19. Thank you fellas, giving me a little bit of room here. Another envelope. Every time I see one of these, it's like highly classified. What did they find? Another button, a stickbot top fan bot button. Always nice to wear one of these, and festive in red. I think I may wear this on Christmas Day. And we are getting into the thick of it now. Number 20, door number 20 is... Festive Ghost Boy. <gasps> Ghost Boy. This, for sure, another holiday exclusive figure, a kid, youngling figure, in white, candy cane white with candy cane red cups bright orange cord has to be an exclusive. It just has to be. I think it goes really well with the Christmas theme. And door number 21, what do we have here? Oh, Cerberus has just fallen off the light. I knew you were too big for that lamp. You should probably not follow Stickbot Monkey up there. It's just too dangerous. 21 officially is something golden. 
Another dino. A raptor, I believe. A festively golden velociraptor, translucent gold, amber color with green cord. Always like the velociraptors. Beta, there you are. I sworn to your clone I would bring you back. Wait a second. That's not Beta. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, that's not Beta. That's just a very pretty amberish velociraptor. Three more, three more doors to open. Number 22. There's our cat. But not a very festive coloring of cat in blue. Typical cat trying to buck traditions. I'm not gonna be festive, no way. Um, so yeah, solid blue cat. Let's get these packaging things off its cuffs. Feels pretty unexclusive. I think I've seen this cat a few times before. Uh, it'll go well, I guess, with the dog, but I think it would have been so much better had it been a holiday green or holiday red or something. There is just too much on set, too much. How about you just stand over here for a second? Where's Super Holiday themed Stickbot? What happened to him? Ah, there he is. Apparently someone spiked the holiday stick nog. Everyone's just a little woozy here. Okay, number 23. Number 23, we are going to see another classified Manila envelope sent from the IRS and or Supreme Government agencies. Maybe... Maybe the US Mint. This is pretty heavy, actually. No way. It's a StickBot golden coin. Okay, this is absolutely incredibly cool. A StickBot coin, gold coin. One side we have our StickBot with stars encircling and a stickbot logo and on the other side we've got a big B probably for bot no not a B the face of a stickbot of course bank of Zingtanica the stickbot head there bot coin oh that is so cool very cool that is a highlight piece of the calendar today totally highlight wow that ends us here with the final door number 24. Advent is here. We have been waiting for a reverse green and red stick bot. So a beautiful holiday themed stick bot reversed to what we opened before now with the green shirt and red pants. These two the main reasons I jumped on this calendar. Now with five exclusives, I'm pretty sure those are the two. This would probably be the third. As for the fourth and fifth, that's harder to say. I kind of wanted to guess maybe the cranberry stick bot. I mean, it feels like we've seen a solid red before, but maybe not with that cord. Hard to say. I feel like we've seen these two before, the translucents. Maybe this gold yellow too. This kind of feels a little bit holiday themed, so it could have been this one too. I feel like the dog cat dinosaur we've seen before maybe. So that's my guesses. It's these five, these five right here. Let me know in the comments if I got that right or if one of the bots in the pack that I had opened here was uh, an exclusive or not for the five. But from besides these, the two keychains were also spectacular finds. These were really cool. Definitely gonna wear one of these on my keychain this year. I need a keychain to retire a Disney keychain I've had on my keys for a while. What are keys, by the way? And then we have this guy here. That was another great exclusive. Lots of accessories were awesome and fun. The buttons were great. And of course, absolutely of course, the bot coin. The bot coin right there sells it for me. What a pack of fun festivities. So that's the StickBot Advent Calendar. Pretty ultra festive impressive. More Advents on the way. Don't forget we've got Sonic, we've got Among Us, we've got Minecraft. Stick around please. They are entertaining crazy. Thank you so much for watching today. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a score live, and a squamant. What was your favorite StickBot Advent or calendar? That's a coming. Thank you so much again for watching. That's what I have to say about that.